Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. Yes, after a day of uploading on my Mike49324 channel, featuring the new characters from Thursday. Again, I do apologize for the delay. YouTube was acting kind of jerkish. It did five times. It didn't convert it to a video file, but now it's time to start Mike49324's main character on this channel here. Now we get to choose who our teams are. Of course, these are the new teams in this game. Don't forget UMass, UTSA, and Texas State weren't a part of this game. Aren't in this game, and also Idaho's old logos in this game. Well, I want to go for a different kind of spin. Normally, I would go to USC. Well, although gotta talk about USC again congratulations to Matt Barkley he finally got drafted 98th overall to the Philadelphia Eagles way to go but my heart's saying oh by the way if you guys want to see the logo for Central Michigan there you go sorry for delaying the inevitable well my heart is saying you know what for EJ I think we should go to Florida State. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Go Florida State on this one, and my Eric Cart, my Ariel Cole gamer tag will have the USC, my gamer tag here. So we're gonna go for the time being, unless there's a team of the day option, then we're gonna go Florida State for the time being. Which, which I gotta check if that's. The, Got us. Let's check out. Check this out. I'm so curious to see how this looks. And wow, <laughs> my Aunt Sienna's legacy, trophy gaze, settings. Ooh, custom effects. And nope. Yeah, you can't settings, system settings. Yeah, let's take a look. Is there a favorite team setting? We we could change it. Yeah, we could change it. Good. So on this channel we'll have a team of the day. I like the Reddit frequently asked questions. Yeah, I have a lot of those on this show. Game management, edit coaches, edit rosters, depth chart, create a player. Unfortunately, you can't create a team on this game. Which let's take a look at the edit coaches here. Let's take a look at the coaches here. So let's see what we got. Sam Jack is there. They're the head coach of the Florida State Seminoles in this game. Now let's take a look at USC's coaches. Let's see who they got. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. I know I'm just, sorry I'm delaying the inevitable, but still. Oh, here's UCLA's. Their head coach is Robert Jamison. Their offensive coordinator is Casey Turner. And Jason Smith is their defensive coordinator. Oh, here's USC's. Their head coach is Andrew Waller. Oh, wait, that's their offensive coordinator. Their co head coach is Josh Hodges. Well, which Martin is their defensive coordinator? Yeah, not even close. Okay. Auto save, yada, yada, yada. So now. Team Builder, I search and download schools, which you gotta lock me logged in to do that, which. That really sucks. And I'm curious, let's see who their main rival is in this one. Of course, it's Clem with Clemson. But now, let's go to Road to Glory. Create a new player. Don't worry, we're going to hit 13 as well. So hold your horses, people. Well, for this one, we're going to go with Cartman. We're, we're going to do exactly what Cartman did. We're going to try to keep it away from Cartman's series for right now. We're, no, my original plan was to do the dynasties as well today, but unfortunately, due to the uploading fiasco, that we won't announce the dynasties until Wednesday. I do apologize for it, but something has to be done. We're gonna make this guy a halfback here. In fact, we're gonna make him. We're gonna make him from the coldest parts of Alaska. <laughs> And apparently I goofed up on WWE 13 because once you can't, it turns out you can't have more than one game data 
you have to delete a game in order to do that. So I goofed. So now from now on, I have to play WWE 13 on my mic for on my, my this my gamer tag that I'm on, Mike from LA One Game. But just kind of unfortunate. We're gonna make him. We're gonna make him from Homer High from Alaska. And for the team name, who I don't know. Well, just to be a little cliche, just to be a little cliche here, we're gonna go. Well, just to be a little cliche, we're gonna go with the Homer Hornets. Sorry if you guys thought this was too cliche. I'm just gonna go Hornets. Now, stadium, we're gonna go with three. Like, it's not like in the newer game where you can actually. Well, we're gonna go with night set three here. Here in the jersey number, we're gonna go with the number that I usually wear in my other dynasties, and which is number 19. And now it is time to finally announce what the guy's name is. Well, I've been thinking long and hard all day. And we need... So we're gonna go with another funny name here. And therefore, we're gonna, it's gonna go with Luke Gump. Yeah, like Forrest Gump. Yeah, Luke Gump. From Homer, from, from Alaska. What part of Alaska, I do not know. Now it's time to create the uh, uniforms here, and this is gonna be. It. Now these jerseys, this the color of these jerseys are really cliche. I have a orange and ye yellow and black. Yeah, it is as cliche as it gets. So Luke Gump, he is gonna be our character throughout here, and we're actually gonna make him kind, not like the Big Show or Cartman. In fact, we're gonna make him a five five guy. Wayne, Wayne, 160 pounds old. Not a tough guy here. Now with the equipment, we're gonna go standard here. We're gonna be fine with this, as Luke Gump has been created. Now it's time to choose the team. Unfortunately, there's no schools to Alaska, which is really stupid. But, but he has couple of schools that are really close. The first one is the University of Washington. The next school is at the state below Alaska. And if you guys think it's going to be, and you guys thought that they've been in the news recently over allegations, so like I did with Cartman, I thought, okay, we got to do Oregon. And number three is the much warmer conditions compared to Hawaii. Wait, compared to Alaska. Yep, you guessed it. We're paying homage to my coaching carousel series, which I'm now with UAB. The Hawaii Warriors will be his third choice. So here we go. Auto save for Luke Gump. And his combine took place at Port in Portland, Oregon, apparently. So here we go, his first opponent is the late Sycamores. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go nine games, like my Mike from LA1 channel series, like I normally do. First will be the Lake Sycamores, then they'll take on the a Anchorage Desperados, then the Hornets hit the road to take on the Kenai Vandals. Oh, come on! That movie wasn't even a hit, although I liked it. If you guys didn't get that... Brother Bear joke, watch the movie. The main character's name is Kenai. Then they continue the road trip against the Metal Lake Hawkeyes. Where are we, Iowa? Then they return home to take on the Valdez Bulldogs. Arr, arr, arr. Then they take on the Kink Fairview Cavaliers on the road. Then back at home to take on the Fairbank Tiger Cats. Then they take on the Barrow Blazers. Then they, for senior day, I guess the Juno Trojans. Well, we're good with those choices, and with that, let's get started with the Luke Gump Road to Glory. Oh, and by the way, 
if if you guys are complaining about the uh, if you guys are complaining about uh, the misspelling, actually I meant to do this on purpose. Because if I do it L U K E, yeah, that will be too predictable. So I thought let's do it the other way, L U C. So the French way. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the French way for this Road to Glory series. Don't forget, coming coming up next will be my unveiling of my NCAA 13 character. Followed by Madden 12 Superstar Mode character reveal, episode 1. And then it'll be the connected career announcement, then I'll be done for the day. And the sign of the day is we're number 1. So here we go, in the cold Arctic weather in Alaska. So here we go, lakes high, they get the cost and they the toss and they lose. So here we go, they will receive and unlike the in the previous game where you don't get anything, well here you get the thing. And there you see Luke Gump, who was the a last minute addition. A, a last minute addition to this team. And it, actually before I'm gonna start in the beginning here because Luke Gump was a last minute addition to his team because well he was on the track and field team but the coach the football coach saying we could we need a, another halfback to play in the state championship game although I am kinda curious to see where that is so he was a last minute addition to this year's roster that's why you you cannot see that many number 19 jerseys out there can we see Luke Gump make the NFL? And there you see Luke Gump, and he made it. First down. And for some reason, they sent him on the bench. And here we go. Homer's first chance. Taste near the first. Home. Luke is getting his first taste near the end zone here. So let's see how he does here. And he makes it through. Touchdown, Hornets. And as the as the Hornets of as the Hornets continue to, as Luke Gump finally gets his first taste of celebration, and there's his girlfriend wearing the number 19 jersey right there, which if I don't know her name just yet. It's well, time for the PA Power Zero, which and they are not in good hands, because Luke knows he's in the end zone. So if he makes one mistake, th th there's gonna be a safety. So here we go, halfback toss right here for Mr. Luke Gump. So here we go, and there he goes, and oh, look what we got here. And he goes in the end zone, the crowd is loving it, and I locked the happy 20th EA Sports apparently. Hopefully it's not in next year's game. Which, if you guys are asking, yes, there will be Mike49324 exclusive series on that channel as well. And ooh, Luke did a good cover there, but for some reason they just couldn't do it. So here we go, first and ten here, and Luke, well, best of luck to you, buddy. Well, because you're the quarterback. So chances are he's probably gonna get zacked. Watch this. Yeah, he got zacked. So a no gain there for the Hornets on that play. So here we go, time for the draw here. And there you see, and there you see Luke, and he takes all the defense, and he has now the, the longest yard. And the Hornets take a 13-0 lead over, over the sack. Yeah, Moors. I can't even pronounce it as Gump uses track and field skills. Now the coach is hat is probably it's the athletic director at Homer High is now convinced that the coach is Paul his job is probably safe because well he, let's just say he nearly he was going to get fired because he used a track and field star who an unknown some person from track and field and put him on the football team as a last minute addition and with that they failed and with that they're up 14 to 7 
And now the athletic director is not going to be firing. Yeah, so here we go, second and nine. And there you see Luke Gump. Again, he tries it, but he doesn't get there close enough. <laughs> so here we go. Time for one of these plays. There you see Luke gets the first down. He gets taken out by a clothesline. And Luke Gump gets a home run, a hundred yards. And they sent him out for some reason. Now it's time for the flanker drive. So here we go. And there's and well, well, the coaches knew that he, he knew that there was a good possibility. That he has to get a little work to do to get the catching the football. He's all he's known is to rush. So here we go, PA power zero here. So it is no close to halftime here, and the Hornets still have that lead here, and and it's about to get extended. As Luke Gump and the Hornets continue to dominate Blake's High. And as you can see, there's a powerful storm on the horizon because of Luke Gump. So here we go. So next time he's at back, he next time he's playing. Hey, I think this is slants. Up, oh, yep, close to slants. And there he goes. He got it. He, that was his first catch of his football career. <laughs> and there he goes. And ooh. So there you see Luke Gump. Well, he called it too late, and just like that. So here we go, another four verticals. The in the bathroom, the first one on the Mike 49324 channel. Huzzah! So there we go, and they're still short, fourth and three. So Lakes is, did not take advantage of it. And uh oh! At the nine yard line, this may not, is not going to be good here if your name is Luke Gump and well he nearly broke out of a tackle so still very impressive though so here we go power zero and just like that we're at halftime the Singamores okay that's how you pronounce it so the fans at Homer High, they're probably excited because all their scores is from the new kid. The track and field star that, knew, but that nobody knew. So And oh, safety. And that's the legs high. He is probably happy about that. They shut, home, they shut Luke down. So there you see Luke is continuing to show that he has that potential there. So here we go, another power zero here. So here we go as Luke made another mistake and thus he lost a yard and the Lakes fans continuing to celebrate that this could be the beginning. the beginning of the Luke Gump era so he's gonna be like the they think he's gonna be the Tim Tebow he succeeded in one year in one in one game and it'll be a, a piece of then they'll he'll be forgotten but Luke trying to prevent that from happening well first down right there so mm -hmm. So here we go, Luke Gump. Uh, 
And oh, don't you. Well, at least he's not playing copyrighted music. That I can thank him for. So there you see, it's 16 to 21, so there's no goofing off this time. Homer has to score. Homer High has to score, otherwise, the Hornets go 0 and 1. And they are sending them off the bench, and just like that, they are not. Just like that, the Lakes fans take the lead. Great job, coaching staff. Nice job. So here we go as they are not letting Forrest get the ball that often. They're saying, so they're going to, they're probably going to give it to him, but nope. they say, ha ha, screw you, you're not getting it. And there you see Luke. Oh, nearly got it. So they're probably, ooh, he nearly got it. So there you go. And Luke got out of the way and he dodged it and thus that will be huge. And nope, not quite. So, Lakes fans, they're probably saying they're going to rain on the Hornets parade. And well, they're just 2 minutes and 15 seconds away from that happening. And Luke Gupp is surprising everybody. So here we go. And that is dead. And oh, he nearly got it. Ooh, and that's going to cost them. So 90 seconds, nearly 90 seconds left. No, it's 90 seconds left. So the so the Hornets need to do something here. Oh, could this be it? Yes, touchdown! So someone other than Luke Gump gets the ball into the end zone at last. And oh, they're going to go for it. A quick slant here, so... So right now at this point, safe to say, they got the two-point conversion. So the only way this thing could go down is by overtime. And nope, they Lakes couldn't do it. But in the end, the Hornets were just too good as Homer High, Homer High dodges a late game comeback by Lakes High School as Homer High will go 1 and 0 as the Hornets will defeat the Lake Sigamores 29 to 22 And with that that is it Lakes High wins three touchdowns one reception no receiving touchdowns which was disappointing but still rookie performance for a guy that never played football before in his life So I hope you guys enjoy my my new my first Road to Glory series on the Mike 49324 channel. And don't forget, check out the, the Road to Glory series I have on my Mike from LA1 channel. Check it out. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe. And oh, speaking of another the, or, the other Oregon school, and speaking of the other Washington school, and speaking of why are they on this list? So we're going to go with Oregon State for it. If Washington State does pop up again, Luke will choose him. So with that, this should just about do it. Come back next time as the desperate Anchorage Desperados are hoping to unsting the Hornets. Come back for that, guys. I'll see you guys later.